The Stallions, coming off a dominant win versus the Kansas City Chiefs, look to keep their hot streak going here versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. If you've been enjoying this series, be sure to hit like and be sure to hit subscribe. First quarter here, Bryce Young. Shotgun formation, going to throw this one. That's going to get picked off. It's intercepted. It's going to be KJ Britt picking that one off. Looking like a defensive back out there. Even though he's a linebacker, that's just Madden for you. Great play by Britt. Basically, you know, just a great play right there. Ball went right to his hands like a magnet was on his hands. Here's Baker Mayfield going to get the ball off just before he gets sacked because that's also Madden. AI quarterbacks just get the ball off before getting sacked for some reason. Out would come the field goal unit. Up and away that kick goes. Three points on the board for the Buccaneers. So Bryce Young going to almost get picked off again. And they would have to punt that one away. Third and five here. Bryce Young, or not Bryce Young, Baker Mayfield. Going to throw that football right there and pick up the first down. Now a second and ten. Man in motion. Baker Mayfield. Shotgun formation. One to his left. Going to throw this one. And that's going to be very close to a first down. It's a fullback making the catch, I believe. So third and one here. Going to be a run up the middle. And that's going to be a first down here for Tampa Bay. Now Baker looking. Throwing this one over the middle of the field. It's Kate Otten. Trevin Wallace can't keep up with him. Second and ten now. Throw slant to Mike Evans. Third and one here. And the Buccaneers are just driving right now. Third and one. Baker throws this one. And that is going to be just short of a touchdown to Otten. First and goal here. Going to be a handoff to White. And White's going to go jumping into the end zone. Because for whatever reason, the AI will... You know, do that jump animation and just get an automatic touchdown regardless of what you do. So now first and 10, Bryce Young going to find Deontay Johnson with a diving catch right there and pick up the first down. Now first and 10, going to be a handoff here to Jonathan Brooks, and he's just going to fight his way forward to second and inches. Now another handoff here and can't get the first down, third and one. Got kind of trapped on his lineman right there. So Bryce Young going to throw this one here to Xavier Leggett. And Leggett going to pick up the first down. End of the first quarter as the Stallions trail 10 to nothing. Now Bryce Young shotgun formation. Going to find Deontay Johnson. Touchdown Stallions. And the Stallions get on the board here. Bryce Young going over the top to find Deontay Johnson. Press man coverage. Against Deontay Johnson is not a good idea. You better have safety help because Zion McCollum just got obliterated right there on that rep. Third and four. Wide open. Chris Godwin. Massive hole in the zone there. And here comes Baker Mayfield again. Third and seven. Looking. Looking. Throwing this one to Godwin again. And the pressure just not getting there today. For this Stallions defensive line. Baker. Enough time here. Going to get sacked. Third and 21 coming up here. Jackson able to come in here. Get the pressure. And Baker can outrun him. Third and 21 here. Baker quick throw. That's a drop. A little bit behind him. But you do expect your receiver to make the play. So now second and four. RPO. That's going to get picked off. It's Jamal Dean. Picking that one off. And that's just a great play. I mean, I don't know what else to say there. That's just an amazing play by the defensive back right there. But third and goal here. Does the defense hold? And it does. Fourth and goal coming up here. And just a field goal for the Buccaneers. So the Stallions, they can still take the lead with a touchdown here. Bryce Young rolling out. Going to find Deontay Johnson. On the sideline right there. And that'll be a first down. Now first and ten. Bryce Young looking, throwing. Going to find Tommy Tremble. Second and one coming up after that play. So now third and one. Going to be a handoff here to Deontay Johnson. Going to get it outside. Picks up the first down. Going to be brought down at the four. Going to go quick hurry up here. 
Bryce Young under center, gonna hand this one off to Jonathan Brooks. Brooks gonna get it all the way to the one. And they're gonna call a timeout here, time winding down, gonna have sub in Miles Sanders, and Sanders goes in for a touchdown. Sanders doesn't get a lot of work, but gets some right there on the substitution, kind of vultures Jonathan Brooks right there. So 14-13. And here's Cade Otten, and no one can seemingly catch up to him until he gets shoved out of bounds. Looks like a few Stallions defenders tripped up on each other there. Baker going to find Mike Evans again. Pick up the first down, keep the chains moving. First and ten, man in motion. Baker looking, throwing. Going to throw that one a little bit behind, but the receiver still able to make a play on the ball. So now first and 10 again. Baker looking, throwing, going to find Kate Otten, and Otten's going to walk into the end zone. A little bit of contact and pick up the first down, or pick up the touchdown. Now going to go for two here to make it 21-14. Rashad White breaks like eight tackles on the play because that's Rashad White's game. 21-14. So Bryce Young looking, going to throw this one. A little bit behind Deontay Johnson. But still good enough to pick up the first down. So Bryce Young again looking. Throwing. That's going to get picked off right there. Jonathan Mingo. Not sure what type of route he was running right there. Not a good decision. But third and ten here. Will the Stallions defense hold Baker throws? That's going to be down low. And out of bounds is pushed. I believe that's Jamal Agnew for the Buccaneers. So screenplay here, Jonathan Brooks tries spinning to pick up more yardage, can't get it. So here comes the third and eight after that first down play. And Bryce Young gonna find Robert Tunyon. He keeps fighting and picks up the first down. Big drive here for the Stallions. Need to get this ball into the end zone to keep pace. Tommy Trumbo, big play in the open field right there. Picking up the first down and then some more. So now I form. Going to hand this one off to Jonathan Brooks. Cuts it back inside. Finds an angle. Finds a crease. Jonathan Brooks is gone. Touchdown. Stallions. And the Stallions tie this one up. I had to go get a drink of water real quick. Jonathan Brooks. Big touchdown right there. This game's tied up. 21-21. Baker navigating around the pocket. That should have been picked off. But Fuller couldn't get that other foot down. Tip of it went out of bounds. So Bryce Young here, going to find Deontay Johnson, second and two, turns into first and ten after that conversion. Now another run here, Jonathan Brooks gets some blocking, able to navigate his way <clears throat> up the field right there and pick up the first down. So now Bryce Young on the run here, going to keep it himself and going to get out of bounds instead of sliding. He maybe should have slid. But fourth quarter here, Bryce Young throwing this one. Going to find Mingo. Mingo going to be brought down right there. Now first to 10 at the 10. Bryce Young looking, throwing. Going to find Mingo. Mingo gets knocked into the end zone. Touchdown, Stallions. And the Stallions going to take the lead off the Jonathan Mingo touchdown. Kept those feet moving and got knocked into the end zone right there. So Baker looking. Baker on the run, looking like Patrick Mahomes right there because every quarterback in Madden is able to do that. So now Baker throwing. What is that tackle attempt right there by Caleb Farley? Not even an attempt of a tackle. Just kind of threw his arms into him. And that's a touchdown. Mike Evans, he thinks that's the knockout blow. Well, that simply ties this one up. Caleb Farley, I, I don't know what he's thinking right there. That's not your game. Just wrap him up. So, Jonathan Brooks, screen play. No blocking, no help. Kind of just does this all on his own. Big play right there. Now, Bryce Young going to throw this one here to Tommy Tremble. Picks up the first down again. And right here is when this team decided to slow things down a little bit. A little bit of contact on that route, but Johnson able to pick up the first down right there. And they are taking some time off the clock here, letting it really wind down. Now a handoff here to Brooks. He's going to pick up some nice yardage right there. Now, no timeout called yet here by the Buccaneers. They're not calling any timeouts. Brooks going to get first and goal, and now they call a timeout. So 
A couple more plays run, another timeout, this time by the Stallions after the Buccaneers burned all theirs. 28, 26, 25 seconds left, and the Buccaneers are going to be trailing here after the Stallions take a lead off the Eddie Pinheiro field goal that makes it 31-28. So Baker going to take a shot here, and Caleb Farley is able to play that pretty well. Still some time left to get a field goal to tie this up. Well, not if you do this. I mean, that is inbounds, and time's going to come off the clock. What were the Buccaneers thinking right there? They are going to lose this one 31-28. to That's just a poor way to play things. I know there's no timeouts, but you had more than enough time to at least try to get in the field goal position. Bryce Young, 24-37, 277 yards, two touchdowns, three interceptions on the day. So Stallions able to overcome the three interception day by Bryce Young in this one. Jonathan Brooks, 13 carries, 90 yards, a rushing touchdown. Miles Sanders had a rushing touchdown. And then Deontay Johnson, six receptions, 103 yards, one receiving touchdown. Jonathan Mingo, four receptions, 35 yards, one receiving touchdown. As the Stallions approve to 8-4 and four and drop the Buccaneers to 5-7 and seven as the Buccaneers' path to win the NFC South looks bleaker and bleaker by the week. So that was an interesting game, some bad interceptions, but our defense was able to somewhat hold in this one, get stops when we needed to, force field goals when we needed to, and that's why we won the game. Jonathan Brooks gets an upgrade here. Break tackle, change of direction, juke move, spin move. Those are all good things because I actually use juke moves. I use spin moves with them as well. So change of direction should help out a lot as well, even if it is just a plus one. Jamie Robinson gets an upgrade here. He goes up to 70 overall with this. Uh, plus two awareness, man coverage, play rec, pursuit, and plus two zone coverage. So a good upgrade. He might be a starter for us next year, depending on how things play out with re-signing and then Caleb Farley was almost the woat of this game um, but you know made a play there at the end up that play up the sideline so we get plus three play rec plus two man coverage plus one zone coverage and plus one awareness so uh, Caleb Farley playing well for us honestly was a I believe the Panthers in real life actually did sign Caleb Farley I signed him before they did, so I don't know, maybe they, they should piggyback off of what I do in real life. I, I don't know. I'm just joking about that. But either way, week 14 coming up here, taking on the Eagles, and this team is way better than us. Um, now, is that because Jalen Hurts came into the season massively overrated? Probably in Madden. Of course he did. But uh, Saquon's really good. You know, A.J. Brown's really good. Devonta Smith's really good. They have some good tight ends. I mean, they have Saquon, of course. Um, but this is Madden, where, for whatever reason, the AI doesn't like running the football that much for some reason. Especially if your planning is to counter the run, they just won't run the ball. So, I'll be interested to see how this game goes. We're 8-4, and four, leading the NFC South. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this. Hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.